What's up guys, it's your boy Mikhail Casanova, I'm coming at you with another video. And if you're like me, you love the NES Classic, you love the capability of being able to play the games that you grew up with, and the nostalgia factor is amazing. However, the biggest complaint I have with this is the fact that there are only 30 games on here, and not all of the games that come with this are games I actually care for. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your NES Classic from the basic standard 30 games you have with it into an amazing machine that allows you to play even more of your nostalgic games. Now I'm talking putting up to uh, the max which is 96 games total. But you'll be able to play everything you did love. So I'll show you how to do that and if you haven't already go ahead and make sure you subscribe to this channel that way you'll be able to see all the latest content and all the latest news. So without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it. Play my intro music. All around the world, all the boys and the girls. From LA to New York City, all my diamonds and pearls. Let us shine through the night, dance until we see the light. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go. All around the world. Now the first thing you want to do is go to this site right here, uh, HackChi2 Download. So click on that link and you'll be able to get the application. So basically all it is is HackChi2 is an application that allows you to upload additional games to the NES Mini or NES Classic Edition. So as you can see right here, I got Batman, Battle Tills, Bionic Commando, Blaster Master, Castlevania 2, Double Dragon, Strider, and the like. So you'll be able to change out if it notifies the person and you know when you're playing a game if it's uh, one player two player not simultaneously two players simultaneously you can change a release date the publisher you're able to rename the games and do all kinds of things this, this is just a really unique application that you're able to use now you see here i've got uh, a couple of things i'm going about to show you guys so you got tailspin right here and um Let's see, I want to scroll on up. Let's see, Double Dragon, right? So I want to change the box art that displays when I launch the NES Classic and I see the game. So you can see here, it shows you the aspect ratios, the resolutions, custom art, the Japanese art for Double Dragon 3 and above, and it shows you the other Double Dragon, you know, box arts. So I got the default one selected, and then from there, if I want to do more with it, like if, right here, I've got you know, Ninja Gaiden 2. I want to change the publisher to Tecmo, not Tecom, Tecmo, T-E-C-M-O. And, uh, yeah, you want to, and that will all reflect within the NES Classic Edition. And so, from that point on, I select, upload selected games in the NES Mini, so I get the original 30, plus all the newer ones. And when I select that, all you got to do is just follow the steps here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then, there you go. Simple, easy, peasy. Can't get any better than that. From this point on, the only thing you need to do is go ahead and power on your NES Classic. As you can see, I'll go ahead and connect the controller, and you'll be able to see all the games that have been added to this. So you can see, you got your standard Double Dragon 2, but we also have Double Dragon, the original that I added, Double Dragon 3, the Sacred Stones, Faxanadu, Iron Sword, uh, Wizards and Warriors 2, Journey to Silas, Kung Fu. So we're going to go ahead and fire up one of the games and see how compatible they are. So let's go ahead and pick something like, I don't know, what do I feel like trying out? Mm. Let's see, Battletoads Double Dragon, how about that?
You can see that loaded up. I pick the double dragons and pick Jimmy. So far, so good. Good ratio. Controls are super responsive. There's no lag or latency here. And let's also check and see about save states. Yep, so I can easily add that save state right there. So that works. Now some of the games that I've had some issues with getting this to run with is Castlevania 3. As you can see, quality on it is not really there. It's super choppy and it could be the ROM itself. But uh, I'll definitely go ahead and take care of that and see if it's just this or if it's another ROM that can work a little bit better. But um, while we're on that topic, let's check Double Dragon 1 and see if that works. Fires up easily. Seems like it's working perfectly. Now let's try something else. Let's go ahead and try Double Dragon 3. Still as horrible as ever. This is my least favorite Double Dragon. But yep, yeah, it works. And last game I'm gonna test out. Let's see how Mega Man 6 runs. Seems so far so good. Seems perfectly fine. Controls are super responsive. No lag whatsoever. Other than the standard, you know, NES lag. So far, so good. I'm super happy with this. And there you have it, guys. If you really want to make the most out of this amazing device from Nintendo, that is definitely the way to do so. Being able to play all of the Double Dragon games, all of the Mega Man games, all the Castlevania games, basically everything I grew up with and more, you can't beat that. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And go ahead, post comments below and let me know what you think. If you like this video, go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you did not like this video, then go ahead and leave a thumbs down by articulate your reasons why. And if you can't articulate re your reasons why and you want to troll, well, G-Tab. If you don't know what G-Tab is, it means get that ass banned because we're not going to tolerate any type of negativity or any other, you know, just, just stupid stuff. There's no point in trolling or spreading negativity for no reason. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you do, if you feel froggy, make sure you go ahead and uh, add a little something extra to your NES Classic. Until next time, guys, this is Mikhail Casanova signing out. Deuce is wild. Catch you in the next one. Everybody drinks on me. Everybody in this bitch drink for free. Give me a whiskey double. A little bit of deck is always trouble. And I'm feeling good Like I'm in with only eight approved breathers would Next up, straight to the DJ Tell him play whatever song she said Her body is a misdemeanor